Hi everyone, it's been a while. I've had a lot of coursework at uni, so I've been pretty absent from the internet recently. Basically, last week I got my top surgery date and it's tomorrow. Uh, well, it won't be tomorrow for you. Uh, I'm having top surgery on Wednesday the 27th of November. I'm incredibly excited and anxious. It will be like, I've been waiting for it for the longest time and it will just be so good to just be able to be like free in my life. Uh, so I'm filming this before my top surgery, uh, depending on when I post it, it'll probably be, well, it'll be after my surgery when I post this. I thought that before I had top surgery, I thought I'll show you guys how I used to uh, bind my chest but with tape, uh, this uh, like, it's like KT Tape is the brand, but this isn't KT Tape. It's just like cheapo stuff off of like eBay or something. I'm gonna show you how to do it in the safest way that I've found to do it. Obviously, no binding is safe. My surgeon and my doctor and my physio <laughs> have all reminded me that binding is just not safe at all. So uh, the little amount you can do it as possible, the better. I know that's not ideal, obviously, like, uh, people aren't just gonna stop binding just because it hurts them, unfortunately. That's just the way dysphoria works. I'm just gonna show you the safest way that I've found for my body and maybe it will help some of you guys to do it your way too. When you get the tape, it comes in a roll like this. Uh, this one's nearly empty, but you can see it's got like these divider things on it uh, so that you can measure out the right amount for, for my body. I've found that on one side I need a two big square piece and a two and a half square piece and on the other side sometimes I need an extra piece depending on like how dysphoric I'm feeling really so it's not really rational but I've taped, I've taped my nipples so that you don't see them. <laughs> An important thing to do is to make sure that you're not taping over this area. Um, a way that you can see where the best area not to bind is, is if you take a big deep breath, you can see these rib muscles move out. Not muscles, what am I talking about? <laughs> you can see your ribs move out. Um, that means that if you bind over that area, it's going to really restrict your breathing uh, and your ribs. So please, please don't do that. Also don't tape over your back. That will give you insane back pain. Personally, I use this tape method to avoid as much back pain as possible. So like my my like GC2B binder and like my whatever brand binder you have, they compress all, all the way around. So I choose this when my back pain is particularly bad because it's not gonna bind your back or your like center chest. So yeah, please don't bind all the way around. What you're aiming to do is use these little short pieces to just get like the side bit um, so it does the job but it's going to give you the minimum pain you still do get back pain with it but it's I found it's way less than wearing a traditional binder so firstly I'm going to take this two and a half square piece it's a bit tricky to take it off um, and what I do is I just go like a little bit in from where I've put the tape uh, to cover my nipples uh, so also it doesn't stick to the tape because that would ow hurt so bad um, so I've got that on just there then I press it down to where I want it to be flat and pull it around not too tight and tape it there so it's just secure Okay, this isn't going to look flat yet. In fact, it's not going to look flat in the end, but it's going to look kind of like pec muscles under your shirt, uh, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Try not to get your armpit hair in as well, because that hurts too. Oh, it's not sticking because of my deodorant. <laughs> Okay, 
So once you've done that, it looks like that. Not ideal, because you've got this like under bit, which is gross to me. So then I take the shorter piece, which is two squares in length. And what I found works really well is if you do this one, like kind of diagonally like that. So I take a bit of the, cause there's a bit of like fat here that I don't want. So I put a little bit on there, press down to get my chest flat and tape it underneath. So, uh -huh. it won't stick because I made my deodorant out of coconut oil, so it's all slippery. Just ignore that. It won't do that for you. Then I'm going to do another piece on the other side. Right, this is the side that I have issue with because it's a bit different to my other side. Okay looks like that. Uh, and yeah, as I said, this side misbehaves. So I'm gonna uh, take another two square strip piece and tape up that side. So it looks like this. It's not flat, like I say, but it's it, it doesn't look like a female chest and I'll show you uh, what it looks like underneath a baggy t-shirt. So yeah, you can't like from the side, it looks fine like the only like you, you can see it goes in like this but like only to the extent that like cis males chests do um, and I find that that gives me kind of less dysphoria than having that you know like binder bump in the middle uh, the only downside is that if you go like this it looks more prominent but again it's like not much more than a cis male, I don't think it would clock you, to be honest. I wear this tape if I'm going running or my back pain's bad. It's just like a slightly more freeing way of finding your chest to alleviate some dysphoria, but without the awful back pain that a binder brings. Also, in summer, it's less sweaty than a binder. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like the video. If you've got any other particular techniques that you use and you want to share amongst each other in the comments, please do. That will be great. I hope you all are well and I'll see you in my next video.